Threat modeling is a process performed by an organization, to try to identify and analyze the potential security threats targeting its environment or products. Threat modeling is similar to the risk management process, where potential harm is identified and prioritized, and its probability of occurrence estimated. Threat modeling is an ongoing process that should be present from the design stage of a solution and throughout its life cycle. Microsoft for example, follows the principle of secure by design, secure by default, secure in deployment and communications. The purpose of this principle is to reduce design security issues, and to mitigate the effects of remaining ones. Threat modeling that is performed during the design stage, is known as a defensive proactive approach, where threats are predicted during the early stages of system development, such as during the coding process. This approach is more cost-effective and successful than having to deal with all the issues later with patches and upgrades. Not all issues can be predicted at the design stage, so this approach is not enough to guarantee a fully secure and functional product or system. Threat modeling that is performed after a solution has been deployed is known as an adversarial reactive approach, where threats are detected during testing phases, using vulnerability assessments, penetration testing, and code reviewing. Threats identified with this approach demand going back to the design stage, and applying updates to the product to fix the issues. This might result in reducing the functionality and user-friendliness of the solution, and eventually too many updates would diminish its effectiveness.